Hi guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. Today we're gonna talk about health. Today we're going to talk about Cavalier Health and I will tell you a little story about what happened in Calgary. So before we jump into the video, I would like to thank our sponsor of today's video, Trupanion. As you may or may not know, we have been on Trupanion Pet Insurance for a few years now and we love this company. So of course, a partnership with Trupanion just feels natural to us. If you want to learn more about Trupanion, I'll leave a link in the description box below. But this is the company that we trust and that we've been using for a few years. You also know that we are big believers in pet insurance for numerous reasons and one of them being accidents like the story I'm gonna tell you today. If you have a new puppy or if even if you have a dog right now I would highly suggest that you consider pet insurance just for illnesses, diseases and accents of course. So let's rewind a few weeks. Uh, you probably know that we went on a trip out west in Canada. We went to Lake Louise, Calgary, Vancouver with Herky and Milton and while we were in Calgary something happened with Herky and she was sick for a few days over there. So the purpose of today's video is to inform you about what happened to Herky, how we fixed it and just so that you're aware that this is an issue that can happen with your dog and I'm also going to tell you about the solution that we found for now. So let me paint a picture for you, okay? You guys know that whenever we travel, we always bring Herky and Milton and that's why our travels are restricted to areas that are pet friendly and countries that are pet friendly and just overall places that are appropriate and suitable for us to bring dogs. So obviously Western Canada is full of outdoors, treks and trails and beaches and forests and lakes. So everything is super dog friendly and of course we were very pleased to discover that there was a lot of off-leash areas during our trip including one in Calgary that we took Herky and Milton to. So I didn't edit and upload the vlog of Calgary yet so what I'll do is kind of integrate all the footage of what happened in Calgary in this video. In Calgary we went to this beautiful beautiful off-leash dog park and we met, went in the middle of fall where all the leaves were so yellow and colorful and it was just a great great place for us to take the girls and I was so happy to see that it was an off-leash dog park. Although we walk Herky and Milton every day I do believe that there's nothing quite like an off-leash activity for her kid Milton just because they can sniff around, they can roam around, they can run. When you walk that thing once, they probably did it like four times. So it's a lot of good exercise and sniffing for dogs is such a good natural instinct. So we love to do off-leash activities. And this is where it comes to bite me in the butt. Herky, being the little adventure seeker that she is, she loves to be off-leash the most. She goes to venture off, she sniffs, but she always comes back to us, which is always a good thing. Make sure, by the way, that if you do off-leash activities with your dogs, that they do come back when you call them. So make sure that the recall command is really good when you do off-leash activities. So Herky's recall is pretty good, but where we have issues with her is that she is a shark. And you probably know this from watching our videos. If you follow us on Instagram, you know that Herky shark is a thing. And of course, we want her to have fun and have some off-leash time. But when we do give her some off-leash time, usually what would happen is that she's going to eat every single thing that she finds on the floor. And I say off-leash, but this also happens when she's on the leash. She is so quick. It's incredible how quick Herky is to pick up things. It's not like you can tell her stop and she'll drop it. Milton is a good girl. Good girl. Milton is a good girl and literally when she has something in her mouth, you can tell her no and she will drop it. But Herky, when you say no or that you pull her or something, she's just going to swallow faster. And that's a true fact. I'm going to insert some footage of what happened. It was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful walk. You just know that when she roams off like that, chances are that she's going to eat something. And of course it had to happen because that night she started having such bad diarrhea, you guys. But like scary diarrhea. Herky gets diarrhea every few weeks I would say because of that exactly she, she, she will just pick up things here and there and it will cause her to have an upset stomach but this diarrhea was so scary and it was so intense honestly I'm gonna insert a photo here just so that you guys are warned 
that this can happen and I just really want to let you know that it can be something serious but I'm gonna put a disclaimer okay disclaimer and then the photo will appear So what you guys just saw was the result of Herky being off leash yesterday at the park and probably eating something that she shouldn't have. And we have this struggle very often with Herky which is why we are always very stressed of leaving her off leash is that she always eats stuff and even if she's on leash she tends to eat things on the floor unfortunately. So we are going to try to keep her on leash today so we can supervise what she puts in her mouth. Only Milton is able to be off leash unfortunately and then we're gonna have to go to a pet store to find some pumpkin for her key, some rice so that we can get her stomach resolved. So that's the update. It was full-blown a blood <laughs> a blood fest. It was gooey, bloody. It was it, it was really painful to see her like that because Poor girl, she wasn't even asking to go outside. She held it in and she waited until we were outside for her to have like that bloody mess of a diarrhea. And so we were in such a rush to find her food that she could eat to ease her upset stomach. So when things like that happen, we usually either have some probiotics in our travel bag. It's always essential. We have a diarrhea medication. And then the food that you should feed your dog when that happens is rice, boiled chicken and pumpkin puree so then we had to run all around town to find her rice chicken and pumpkin puree the the store that we could find that could do that was a, a chinese restaurant and i went in and i was like okay i need rice i need boiled chicken and then the pumpkin puree i found at a pet store and then they, they sell them in individual packets we are currently going to this chinese restaurant called Silver Dragon. This is a restaurant that exists since 1966. So we're gonna go get some dim sum and hopefully we can find some rice, just some rice and some chicken for her to eat with some pumpkin. So that's our mission for now. So we are back at the hotel and our mission was completed. We found a restaurant that sold us some rice and some chicken. I said just chicken, just plain boiled chicken. I don't know if this boiled but uh, it smells very unseasoned and smells like chicken. And then we went to Pet Value to get some pumpkin. And I love this format because it's going to be much easier to travel with. So let me show you. This is freaking Milton's pumpkin. I got four little pouches like this. Look at this format. Isn't it so useful? Look. Whoa, what's that? Pumpkin. And then all the chicken. They charge us $19 for this but it's a good amount of chicken. And rice. So this is going to be Herky's food for the next few days. And mine. <laughs> Ooh, Don't eat it. I'm going to taste it. Is mm. it perfect? Alright. It's Herky's food. It's the only diet that will make her digest well and hopefully she can keep it down and it will trigger more diarrhea. As soon as that happened, we came back up to the room, we gave her the diarrhea, diarrhea medication, we got her the food and we started feeding her that food but it was such an intense and crazy diarrhea that I think she probably ate some sort of poison and I know this is absolutely crazy but and maybe we should have rushed her to the vet right away but unfortunately we do have experience with Herky having diarrhea and we usually uh, wait uh, 24 to 48 hours to see if it improves and if her energy level goes down then that's a really bad sign if they're lethargic if they refuse to eat if they refuse to drink that's a really bad sign but in Herky's case her energy level was still super high she did not refuse to eat she was still eating like a shark so that was a good sign and after being on that diet for 24 hours it just kept getting better and better so that for us was a good sign. However, when something like that happens and you see the energy level go down, if they refuse to eat is a huge sign. If they are feeling very tired is another sign. If it doesn't get better, that's another sign that you should rush to the vet because it could be a more serious condition. When I shared the story on Instagram after it happened, I had so many people write back to me and say, 
you know this happens to my dog too my dog is a shark I I've lost my puppy because he was eating branches and then it punctured the stomach it punctured the intestines and then it caused some internal bleeding I've had other people that said that their dogs ate poison and that within I don't know 24 hours they just passed so you just have to be very vigilant in those kind of situations especially when you have a dog like Herky that can pick up things often and easily so Herky's diarrhea got improved pretty quickly like I mentioned I think within 24 hours it uh, stopped being bloody and it started being the pumpkin color so that was also a sign that it was improving and that she was digesting well another thing that it can be when your dog has massive diarrhea and vomiting is that it can be an obstruction and that can be something very serious as well so in her case she wasn't vomiting which was a good thing but obstruction is literally when there's an object obstructing either the stomach or the intestines so there's diarrhea because your their system is trying to expel that object and there's vomiting because whatever they're ingesting can't pass through. So an obstruction can be something like a peach pit, a rock, a branch. It can be any object that's going to obstruct it. And we've had so many people on Instagram that we know that have had that issue, a foreign object. That's an immediate surgery because it can be very serious. And you know our friends, Dr. Jerome and Dr. Rebecca, they see that surgery occur very often because there's dogs that just eat objects on the floor and it gets stuck and there's no other way for them to pass it but through surgery so we were very lucky in this case because Herky's condition improved rather quickly and it was a sign that there was no obstruction and that she was getting over it by herself with the methods that we were using be it the little change in her diet and the diarrhea medication that we were giving her the diarrhea medication that we use is something that you can just get at the pharmacy i'm gonna put it in the description box below um, it works for us it doesn't mean it's gonna work for everybody but i know some people use probiotics i've seen other people use a mix of dehydrated chicken pumpkin and rice in a pouch form and then they take that on vacation and whenever they need it you just mix water in so there's a few things that you can do at home to improve your dog's diarrhea at home but but it's up to you to find the method that will work for you and if it doesn't improve then a trip to the vet is mandatory and this is where insurance can be so appreciated because for emergencies like a foreign body surgery or poisoning of your dog that needs hospitalization the bill can go up quite high so if you have insurance you know you have peace of mind in case something happens to your dog and I know a foreign body surgery can be quite expensive it can always help to have insurance in order to make the whole thing better now that all that passed we were so stressed out and we absolutely needed to find a solution for Herky being off leash we still want to give her all these activities for her to have fun but we want to keep it as safe as possible and Andy just had the idea of uh, getting a mouth guard or whatever it's called for her key. What do you call that? A muzzle or a mouth guard for her key so that when she's off leash, she can't just eat stuff from the floor anymore. Yeah, it's supposedly for dangerous dogs that bite, but for her key, it's gonna be an anti eat thing. She's so bad. We should get that at pet value. Guys, so Maya was almost crying in the store. She called me and she put this on her key. It's a muzzle, a snout muzzle that covers her entire face, but. It's going to make sure that she doesn't eat crap during walks and then we don't have to deal with this diarrhea situation anymore. It's good, better for her. It's better for us. It's better for her stomach. She will just look like a maniac. You're going to look like a killer dog, baby girl? You want to put it on her? Yes. Oh my god, it's so sad. Let me give her a bit of chink in the So the reason why we got this one that covers the whole face is that the other one doesn't fit their face because they are shorter snouted doggies. Okay, you like this? Look, this is associated to chicken, okay? Are you gonna guide me through? Yeah, I think it's like that. You have to hold her face. Like this. And the nose. Wait, that's too... Her nose is too tight on it. Yep. Just like that? Yeah, it needs to be readjusted, but yeah, it's like that. And the ear goes up? Yeah. Good turkey. I mean, no more eating crap or turkey. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, poor it needs girl. a lot of readjustments. Yeah. I, for once, don't feel bad about this whatsoever. We have to go wear a mask when we go outside. 
for different reasons. She has to wear a mask. It looks weird, but it's really better for her. It's gonna be good. Haheki, <laughs> it's gonna be good for you. It's gonna be good for you. You're good. Can we maybe give her a treat so that she understands that the mask is okay? Good girl. Eh, eh. Oh, she doesn't. She can't get it. I feel bad for her, man. Yeah, you can show the people the brand. It's always moms that feel bad for the kids. The dad's like, you deserve this because you're stupid. Her kid's not stupid. Well, if you didn't eat bird shit on the floor, this wouldn't happen now, would it? Baby. It's not her fault, she's stupid. Exactly, she's stupid. No, it's not your fault. It's a guard against stupidity, Herky. We love you. Milton wants a mask too. So now Herky can go off leash again. Is this too tight? You think it looks okay? Good Herky. Good Herky. Good girl Herky. Good girl, Hecky. You're, you're good. You're good, pretty. Baby, you're good, baby. Mommy loves you so much. You look like a goalie. Hello. Hello. Herky looks terrific. Did you guys know that I like masks? She looks like Hannibal Lecter. She looks so cool. Yeah, Herky, you look good, buddy. I love you. Herky, you at the canyon? <gasps> We're at the canyon? Perky, are you having fun? You good, baby? You judge by her tail. Perky's tail is having fun. You having fun? Uh, I feel safe with her mouth like this. She just tried to go for a garbage on the floor right now. <laughs> not only for mean dogs okay I do understand that now and so we had to rush to a pet store to find a muzzle for Herky and the traditional muzzle the basket muzzles doesn't fit on a cavalier because their mouth their mouth their snout is shorter and wider than traditional dogs so the ones that we found at the store immediately that could work is it, this is a short snout muzzle and it's gonna look kind of weird and it looks funny on your dog but this is for their safety. I felt so bad when Herky first put this on and my husband kept pushing me to get it and pushing the fact that it's for her safety and who cares what other people think about what she looks like. I felt like she just looks so pitiful, but as soon as I put it on, she was still walking very normally, still her happy self, her tail still wagging, and she really did not mind it. So that was a good sign for me to know that she would be safe and she would also not mind having it on. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like on. So this is what it looks like on. Like right now she looks pretty she looks pretty sad right now because she is tired and this is her normal self indoors but when she's outdoors with the muzzle she's still very happy what you need to look out for in a muzzle is that your dog is able to pant normally and trust me she's able to pant in this like it's so full of saliva after an off-leash activity so i know that she's able to open her mouth you, you still see her mouth and everything but I also wanted to point out that this is not the optimal muzzle yet. I'm still shopping around for stuff because you see the opening here. She's still able when she really wants to open her mouth and grab things. So although it's a protection, it's not 100% yet. And I'm still on the, on the hunt for the perfect muzzle for her key. But this is going to work for us for now. We decided to use it on off-leash activities and on extended walks when she's walking and she, there's a risk of her picking up anything. We will put this on her. And so far it's been working well. And although it looks funny like this, I really do recommend that you look into this. Um, if you have a dog like Herky that likes to pick up everything. It's for their safety, it's for your peace of mind. I really assure you that they do not mind it at all. Herky's been wearing it for a few weeks now every time we go on extended walks outside and it's been very helpful for me and for her to not get sick because she literally will make herself sick and I don't understand why she keeps eating things that will make her stomach upset and her going through 
uncomfortable episodes like that nasty diarrhea is not even enough for her to be like okay i should not eat this like i don't understand they have like literally zero survival instinct so that's why it's your job as a pet owner as a dog parent to take care of them because clearly she cannot do it herself of course this is not mandatory for every dog like i mentioned milton does not have this issue so you don't have to look into this if um, you know this is not an issue for your dog but this is just my two cents it's just to share my experience with you we we're just so sick of dealing with herky having diarrhea every few weeks so this has been very helpful this is our video just to warn you about the potential dangers of having a sharky dog like herky if you have a dog that can pick up things that, that makes themselves sick i highly suggest that you look into a muzzle and i highly suggest that you look into pet insurance as well because there are just too many stories of dogs either being poisoned or ingesting foreign objects that can be very fatal so i hope you enjoyed this video and i thank you for listening to my very long rant at this point my goal is always to inform other pet owners and to keep dogs as safe as possible so again thank you to Trupanion for sponsoring this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos and if you have any questions leave them down below as well we love you and we'll see you soon bye